Hello everyone, my name is Aaron, and today I would like to talk to you about Flor about the Florida Atlanta University ba Owls baseball team. As with most collegiate sports, football and basketball are the main money makers for universities. Our, our athletic director, Pat Chung, is doing what I, and a lot of people think, is a good job. The baseball team has been largely ignored by the FAU Athletics Department for the better part of a decade. Compared to other, other collegiate baseball teams, the Owls Baseball Stadium is largely an upgraded high school baseball stadium. The student-run newspaper, the University Press, which ran a baseball special edition for the start of the season, brought the issues to, brought the issues to the first couple of articles. Special edition editor Rolando Rosa, at the very beginning of the issue, wrote an open letter to Athletic Director Patchon asking for the department to find a way to provide funding for renovations to upgrade the baseball stadium. I'm quoting here some points that Mr. Rosa brought up in the letter. Owls baseball is the only consistent winner at FAU. They haven't had a losing season since 1998. They've won two Sun Belt Conference titles in the last three years, and they are being picked by Baseball America and the Sun Belt Coaches Poll to repeat as champs, end quote. Mr. Arla further down in the letter, after bringing up the L's success and the lack of a ground school and talking about the FAU Athletics Department operating budget, mentions bathrooms, quoting, Restrooms should be at the top of the list. The stadium has zero porcelain thrones for the kings of campus, end quote. This is true. Having attended a game down in the stadium, there are no bathrooms, only porta potties. Well, I'm not going to quote every part of the letter Mr. Rosa brought up. Very interesting points. And the second article I'm going to talk about, written by Mr. Rosa and Mr. Zach Kelberman, they bring up points about the baseball program. They quoted former Owls baseball coach, Kev coach Kevin Cooney, who resigned in 2008, feeling the university was not doing enough for baseball. Coach Cooney, who seemed to do everything for the baseball team up until 2008, gave some very interesting insights in the article. I'm going to quote a few of them to you. Coach Cooney talks about risking his life for the baseball program. Quote, I remember one opening day. I was standing where the press box is, and, ha and I am having a couple of my players hold on, holding on to my leg as I put up the flag, and I'm thinking, geez, I could get killed doing this. End quote. He also talks about concessions. Quote, the concession is less than a high school situation, having a trailer pulled in and selling all of it. Are you kidding me? This is Division One baseball. End quote. FAU baseball players and staff have to pull double duty for the stadium. By com quoting here, uh, by comparison, when basketball practice ends, you take the ball and put it away. You ever seen basketball players sweep the floor? I don't think so. End quote. In the article, Mr. Rosa and Mr. Kelberman stated this. Before a game, you can often catch various members of the club out on the field to toiling with rakes and blowers. And the double duty effort comes in place of a groundskeeping crew for which FAU has long lacked. End quote. During freaking rain delays that come from from living in Florida, players and coaches had to move a tarp, which up until the start of the season was ratty and had holes in it. They also mentioned, quote, with a stadium capacity of just over 2,000 people, Owls Baseball has never hosted a conference tournament or an NCAA regional, end quote. Current coach John McCormick stated this, we all have visions of renovations. University, Pat Chun, athletic director, Melissa Dawson, senior associate at the Lodge director, all understand what we need to get to. We have to be patient that there is a timeline on it. Do I envision a beautiful stadium there like something like some of our competitors have? Yeah, I would like to have it and make things and make things easier on the players and coaching staff, but there's not and there's nothing we can do about it. end quote. A. D. Chun was quoted in the article as well. Quote, we need to get them a viable Division I baseball stadium. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. That's in our thoughts right now. We recognize the fact that we need to find a way to improve their playing facility and cages and all that. End quote. Coach Cooney is quoted at the end of the article by mentioning this. 
This is a nice little town where people should love baseball and take in a game at FAU that's in a stadium that has the proper amenities. If you can put your players in the right facility, you can get better players. I look, end quote. I would like to commend the staff of the University Press for the work in the, this issue and for the jobs they do every week. Now, I am not a student athlete nor a member of the Florida Atlantic Athletics Department. I am a college student who takes pride in his university and the sports I represent. I want to see a successful part of the athletics department properly taken care of. If our school was like a Florida, a Florida State, University of Miami, this wouldn't be the case for our baseball program. Now, everyone will say winning football and basketball programs help, as well as being in the right conference. Well, our baseball cannot, our baseball program cannot simply wait for that. Now, what would a renovated facility mean for the local economy? The chance to host a conference tournament, which means teams and fans coming to Boca Raton and the surrounding area spending money on food, lodging, entertainment, as well as the same, as well as the same thing for hosting an NCAA regional for baseball. There would be a chance to host a couple TV games as well throughout the course of the season, which would give the university and the area more exposure. I am not an economics expert, but I think local businesses wouldn't mind the extra business wouldn't mind the extra business during Florida's tourism off season. I know quite a few students and staff at the FAU would love to see the baseball team properly cared for. So if you're interested in finding out how to support FAU baseball or potentially be corporate sponsors, please contact the Florida Atlantic Athletics Department. Go to the FAU sports webpage to find out. I would like to thank everyone for taking the time to watch this video, as well as listening to me bringing these issues forward. If you have any comments, please feel free to leave them. Thank you.